We are in the Alfredo Di Stefano for this one. It is a rearranged match, a match that was originally scheduled to be played in December. It was postponed because of fixture congestion. So this match day 13 encounter taking place on the first day of February. Esther finds the space. There's the cross for Ina Del Castillo, who was lurking at the far post. It was too high for her. Carmona going to ground and winning the free kick. Duds to the toes. Luca Carmona, who missed that victory against Athletic Club, back in the starting lineup for this one. We're with the set piece once again. 15 minutes gone, still goalless. Lovely ball in, a free header in the opening goal for Real Madrid. A superbly executed set piece and the home side are up and running. Caroline Weir with the ball in. A free header from six yards. Well, it was a simple ball in from Weir and it was actually Rocio Galvez who got the uh, header in the end, and she could not have placed that any better. Into the corner, beyond the despairing dive of Yelena Lete. Esther. Weird. Carmona goes for goal, and that wasn't too far away. A shot from distance from the left back. The 22-year-old still searching for her first goal of the season. Decided to chance her arm from distance. The goal scorer, Rocio Galvez. Almona goes long. Looking for the run of Weir. Teada is there. footwork and away she goes Toletti in between the defenders Esther's there and Real Madrid have doubled their advantage a really well worked goal by the home side and guess who was there to finish it off 13th goal of the season in all competitions lucky for some Esther Gonzalez, the club's leading scorer, at it once again. But this was Athena Del Castillo with the footwork, the vision, Toletti with the drive, the determination, and Esther with the composure. A really fine goal by Las Blancas. Being closed down, put under pressure by Lugui, who wins it back. Here's Asa Hire, tries to feed it across the face of goal, looking for Sariri. Danger snuffed out by the furious Misa Rodriguez. And that's why Athena Del Castillo had her pocket picked in a dangerous area. Real Sociedad unable to capitalise.
It's a hit eight. Oh, that's given away to Athenia Del Castillo. Athenia is in behind. It's a slightly heavy touch, but that's going to go all the way through. A gift for Real Madrid. And they lead by three before half time. Real Sociedad, the architects of their own downfall. Athenia Del Castillo was gifted the opportunity and she gratefully accepted. With Esther to narrow angle. We're surely with the tap in. Oh, she's put it wide. That could have been four. That should have been four. Just on the stretch. Venegas was sliding in. Maybe that just put Weir off. Set piece to defend here. Venegas with the header. Maybe, just maybe, the comeback is on. A set piece for Real Sociedad. And a route back into the contest. It was floated in, Vanegas rose highest. And that is a really well placed header into the top corner. Esther, she's dropped deep. Athenia. Esther's continued her run into the middle. Athenia trying to find her. It comes all the way through to Esther. And that is a lovely, lovely goal by Real Madrid. A superb ball by Athenia Del Castillo. And wonderful composure by Esther Gonzalez. She is exactly the player you want on the end of crosses like that. And that should put the result beyond any doubt now. It was a long spell of possession by the home side. A patient build-up. And then they waited for the moment to strike. Sariri in space. Well, it would have been no more than a consolation. But that has to go down as a chance for the visitors. Eight goals this season. You can see what she was trying to do. Bend that one into the top corner. It is nine consecutive Liga FA victories for Real Madrid as they continue their relentless pursuit of Champions League football next season. They have seen off last year's runners-up Real Sociedad by four goals to one here.